Right, an early Christmas gift for IPS teachers. The school board voted tonight to raise teacher salaries. Wish TV's Tim McNicholas is out of the meeting right now. And Tim, how big of a raise are we talking about here? Well, teachers will earn three to nine percent more. That's depending on their performance record and their time with IPS. That adds up to a twenty-five hundred dollar payout on average. Some educators say that's not enough to keep up with some other local school districts. That is the sound of money to teachers across IPS. But for Angela Tipton, the pay just wasn't enough. I hadn't had a raise at that point in five or six years. It's too little, too late. She's an eighth grade teacher who left IPS a couple of years ago for a similar job at a township district. I'm happy for people. More money's more money, but the comparison of what I got to leave the district was over 20% increase and it's not even comparable. It IPS leaders say the salaries and benefits are a $5.2 million investment negotiated with the teachers union. The union praised IPS, saying the deal will help keep teachers. The district can afford the raises in part because taxpayers voted in November to give the schools more than $270 million. We would love to do more and we're committed to doing more, um, but we can only move at the pace of the resources we have. IPS teachers earn 2% raises each the past two years. Today's vote marks the biggest boost for IPS teachers since 2015 when some teachers earned 12% raises. It was one of the last major decisions under outgoing Superintendent Lewis Farabee. We will look forward to, to learning more about what the financial landscape will be for state funding and other resources that will allow us to bolster uh, teacher compensation over the next couple of years. Farabee says the interim superintendent is looking forward to negotiating future deals with the union. If you want to keep good teachers, you need to treat them fairly and you need to compensate them at a rate that is comparable to the surrounding area. Now these raises are part of a one-year deal for this current school year, meaning some teachers will actually earn a lump sum payment, a retroactive payment for their work over this, this current semester, the semester coming to a close. Reporting live, I'm Tim McNicholas, Wish TV News 8. Tim, thank you. Speaking of IPS, the leaders are reminding families and community that school will be in session on Friday. It's a weather makeup day because of the closure on November 15th. The IPS says winter break will run from December 24th to January 4th. Students will return on January 7th.